Kirby. You're watching David Graham's Sports Report. Wait a minute, are you out of here? Yes, we are. Good. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. So when you call 911, ask for the best, state-of-the-art equipment, and a well-trained staff who stand ready to respond to your call. That's Vital Care Medtrans, when nothing but the best will do. Hello everybody, David Graham in here with the Sports Report. The Lady Cougars were off Thursday night, but the Cougars boys team went up 25W North to visit the Blue Devils of Jellicoe. A down year, to say the least, for the Blue Devils. After the departure of all-district performer Justin Bullen, they still haven't found anyone to replace him. And I mean, come on, man, who can? The state leader, all-time in assist, and add to that almost 1,700 points, is something you can't replace, you don't replace very easily. They're young and it shows on the floor, but Mike Reynolds will play 3A schools all day long to get some much-needed experience for his young team. We'll get to that game in just a minute, but first, the JV Cougars boys team won at Jellicoe 61 to 53. Wells led the Cougars with nine, and Wilson had seven for the Blue Devils. And then up next, the Cougars continued their breakneck schedule and played at Jellicoe High School, also winning 73 to 54. The Blue Devils tried to hang in there with a much bigger school from down south, but their bench wasn't what the Cougars bench was. And it, that was your difference. It started out an up and down and pretty close game. At the end of the first quarter, the Cougars were up 17 to 15. A good game. At the half, it was still a good game. Camel County was up 36 to 29. But at the end of the third quarter, it was Cougars 56, Blue Devils 42. And that's when the lack of bench kicked in for Mike Reynolds as his boys ran out of steam and lost 73 to 54. The WLAF BM Tire Sports Network with Josh Parker, Theron Overbay, Noah Smith, and Darren Gillowater and Jim Freeman were there to bring you all the action live, just like they will be Friday night when both Cougars and Lady Cougars travel to Powell. It's a district game, and Powell is not to be confused with 1A, so they may hang in there with us. Let's see. The boys' team is 7-5 and five now, and the girls are 11-1, and one, and no one in the state of Tennessee has beaten them yet. Travel with the Cougars and support them, but if you can't go, log on or tune in to AM, FM, or .com. Jellico boys' team will rest up for the holidays and then travel to Bearden on the 28th through the 30th for the Super 16 tournament down at Bearden. There were just a few games going on in small middle school action Thursday night. Elk Valley was at Jellicoe, White Oak was at Winfield, and Friday, when it will be at Heritage Christian Academy at 6 p.m. La Follette Middle School was at Jefferson Thursday night and doesn't play again until January the 11th. And the Eagles, we don't know because we got a bum schedule and we'll have to get with Richard Gomer and get a new one soon. Come and see what's cooking at the diner on Jack's Bro Pie. Coming soon, a garden fresh salad bar. And of course, we have those half pound freshly ground beef hamburgers. And of course, all you can eat specials. And don't forget, we have Pastry Chef making all those delicious pies and cakes daily. And that's what's cooking at the diner on Jack's Pro Pike. Hope to see you soon. 423 566 4708. All righty, we told you all about the representatives a while back from the Campbell County Cougars football team. Let's tell you about the Jellicoe football team. They had a few make the Region 2A All-Region team. First team, All-Region, number one, Derek Kellogg, number seven, Jordan Truth Hammond, and number 12, Tony Smith. Those three made a difference. Of course, Dustin Buckner was the big difference in Jellicoe's football program this year. An honorable mention goes out to number four, Kenny Elliott, number eight, Nick Taylor, number 51, Caleb Dopel, and 65, David Perkins. Congratulations to Dustin Buckner, who won more games than I can remember, and hope he builds the Blue Devils football program back to the prominence it once enjoyed. Upward basketball is coming to La Follette for boys and girls from K through 6th grade. Call 423-494-2987. The Follett First Baptist Church is sponsoring it, and they'll have all the details for you. 
Jeff Mallory is having a clinic, a one day clinic at La Follette Elementary School Tuesday, December the 22nd from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And if you've been to one of his camps, you know what a great teacher he is. And although he's tough, he's very good and the kids love him. It's for boys and girls from first grade all the way up to ninth grade. And for more information, you can call Jeff at 865-314-2106. Call now and get in because he doesn't take a real large groups. Alrighty, one more time, we're going to tell you. You know, you bought the bracelet, you prayed the prayers for the little guy, so now step up and pay $10 on January the 8th because they're going to paint the county blue for Connor. Going to be a benefit concert at Caraval Elementary School January the 8th. Special guests include Jimbo Welly and Greenbrier, Ray Ball, and Alex Leach, and many more. And there will also be a silent auction for those of you that love those things. And for more information, you can contact Brad Smith at 865-271-7033. All righty, that's a quick look at today's local sports. I thank you guys for being with us. You guys stay tuned because there's a whole lot more to come right here on WLAF.